What up, comic book fam? Happy new comic book day, November 3rd, 2021. I hit 15 books this week, so I went over my 10 book limit, largely due to buying double copies of some issues. Let's get right into it. Starting off with DC, as always, we've got Arkham City, the Order of the World. Now, there was a little bit of buzz about the number one issue for this series. Um, I went out and grabbed it as a result of it, and I wasn't that interested in it, except for the Ten-Eyed Man here on the cover. I am interested in this dude and what he's about and, and what is the hell is going on. Super, super creepy fella. So I'm locked in for number two. Hopefully it gets good. Still with DC Comics, we've got Batman 116 finishing out the James Tynan run. I've been enjoying the buildup to Fear State and I'm looking forward to finishing this one out. I'm letting this one backlog a bit while I wait on 117, the end of his run, and then I plan to read the whole shebang. I will be sticking around for 118 as Joshua Williamson is taking over and I've been reading Robin from him. I like his style, so I'll be sticking around. As usual, I did go ahead and pick up that Jorge Molina B cover uh, with Peacekeeper on it. Still with DC Comics, we've got The Dark Knights of Steel from Tom Taylor. Now, I wasn't gonna grab this one, even though it's from my homie Tom Taylor, but when I got into the shop, my LCS owner was talking highly of it, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I'm sure it'll be good, it's from Tom Taylor. And because it's a number one, I went ahead and picked up a second copy of it, because why not? Still with DC, we've got Mr. Miracle number six. Now, I wasn't exactly feeling this series, but I was five issues in, and there's only six in it, so I was pot committed. Went ahead and grabbed number six. We'll see how it goes. Next up, still with DC Comics, we've got The Human Target. Now, this was one that I did not have on my list, but when I got in the shop, I ended up seeing this one in 25 variant from Jenny Frizen. And because I was picking up the variant, I went ahead and picked up uh, a reader copy as well. So I am gonna check this one out, but I am a sucker for Jenny Frizen covers. And, and when I saw it, I just couldn't resist it. I got a problem. Moving on to Aftershock Comics, we've got Out of Body from Peter Milligan and Inaki Miranda with the art. Uh, I have been enjoying this one. It's definitely not for everybody. It's a trippy kind of psychedelic spiritual kind of path that we're taking in this one but i like the art i like the style and i'm curious about what's going on so i'm sticking in moving on to dark horse comics we've got lucky devil number four from colin bunn this is one that i really have been feeling we've got this kind of down and out down on his luck guy who ends up getting tangoed up with a devil who controls him makes him do terrible stuff he gets an exorcist, gets rid of the demon, but somehow keeps his powers. And now we're seeing what this guy who's been down and out would do with such powers. Uh, he's initially building this sort of evangelical following uh, of down and out people, um, but I'm excited to see where else that's gonna go. Locked in for number four. Next up, we've got Two Moons, number six. It is finally back. This one's been gone for a few months. Uh, it stopped with number five. Another one that's not for everybody, but this is a Native American based in the Civil War era kind of dealing with uh, his ability to see demons when no one else can see them. So obviously that would mess up some allegiances when you have that kind of power. It's been interesting enough for me to be locked in and excited for it to finally be back. And I had to grab that B cover from Ryan Sook, my cover of the week. If you check out my top 10 cover art in under a minute, uh, I love this cover, love the Native American on it, love the purple, it just blends perfectly. Excited to add this one to my collection. We've got Silver Coin, this one's being written by Joshua Williamson, who I mentioned before is taking over for Batman from Tynan, and is currently writing Robin. I like the guy's style, so I'm excited to jump in and read this one, plus I've been hearing uh, good reviews on it so far, so hopefully we have another up issue in a series that has been up and down, but I'm very much rooting for it because I love the concept of this evil object ruining people's lives. It reminds me of an old TV show, Friday the 13th, the TV series from back when I was a kid. 
It was about going out and collecting these cursed artifacts that people had that were kind of ruining their lives or the lives of around people around them. So a lot of those episodes of that series really stuck with me and I'm really hoping to get that same kind of energy at some point from Silver Coin. Next up from Image Comics and Scotty Young, we've got the Me You Love in the Dark. A lot of hype around this one. I really liked the first uh, issue. I like the art. I like the setup of this artist who has block, an artist block and buys this house in the middle of nowhere in an effort to get past that block and create some art that she's uh, proud of. Uh, and she encounters this dark being in this house who seems friendly, uh, but I don't trust him, but I'm excited to see what he's really about and how this one's gonna shake out. From Image Comics, we've got Spawn 323. I was able to pick up the A and B cover last week, but I was sad that I missed out on this sick C cover from Bjorn Behrens. But when I went in my LCS this week, it was there shining and bright. So I had to go ahead and pick it up. And because I loved it so much, I went ahead and grabbed two of them because I love having me a box of Spawn and Todd McFarlane stuff. So excited to add this one to the collection. Love that cover with the Captain America and the, and the costumes on the front. It's great. I recently passed 200 subscribers, so we're really starting to get close to that hashtag road to 250 giveaway. I am giving away Avengers 267 and 269, two great Kang covers that caught a lot of hype after Jonathan Major's appearance in Loki. Um, he was also seen at Golden Apple Comics picking up a copy of Avengers 267 for himself. He is expected to take over as Kang in the Ant-Man movie that is upcoming. So the, the hype has died a bit since the end of Loki, but best believe it will come firing back when those trailers start hitting. And these two books that I'm about to give away will be fire. So give yourself a chance to win those two covers because they're definitely going to blow up again. All you got to do is subscribe to my channel and comment on any and all Road to 250 videos. Uh, each individual comment on each individual video will give you one shot at winning that grand prize, which is both of those comics coming to your doorstep. So definitely do that. As far as read of the week for me, I'm gonna go with Lucky Devil number four this week. I'm really loving this story from Cullen Bunn and I'm really curious about what we're gonna do with the story. So excited to jump back in for that one. And then as far as cover of the week, if you watch my top 10 cover art, you already know that B cover from Ryan Sook on Two Moons number six. Just love the way that one looks. Uh, but I was excited to pick up that Jenny Frizen 1 in 25 cover for Human Target. That's a close second for me. I'm a sucker for her style. But you probably have a better cover of the week, a better read of the week. Give yourself a chance to win those two Avengers covers and comment down below. Let me know what you got for me. Always interested to see what you guys are excited about because I very well could be excited about it as well. But as always, I appreciate you coming through, comic book fan. Until next time, peace.